for professional, knowledgeable real estate service you can count on. Call the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team for solid real estate information and advice you can trust. Listen to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show. Compliments to the show. You're really hitting on the subjects and you're telling the truth. I appreciate you. Now back to the show with broker owner and host, Dan Jemis. All right. Welcome back. Uh, yes, uh, Dan Jemis with you here. Aaron Blackmere in studio with me. Uh, before the break, we were talking about uh, a new report showing that boomers are basically staying in their house. Yep. They're not downsizing. Uh, and so we asked our listeners, how long have you been in your house? And uh, we wanted to see if we could find the, uh, you know, the, the biggest record. Well, uh, someone texted in been in our house for 55 years. The previous <laughs> record last segment was 48 years. We got 55. Wow. So I thought, okay, that's a, that's a record. And then I just got one that beat that. Oh, My really? mom has been in her home for 71 years wow. and still living there. Good for her. Wow, that's... 71 years. I thought my dad was along at 51 years. Oh, my yeah, gosh. 50... Someone else texted, I've been in my home for 63 years and will be here until I'm carried out. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, once you've been in the house that long, you're not leaving. No. You're, you're, you know, you're comfortable there. You're comfortable. There and... You know the ins and outs. You're staying there. Man, great job. 71 years so far. So that's that's the record so far, 71 years. That's tough How do you to beat that? I don't know if you can, can that's you? That's tough. That's a long time. Wow. Uh, okay, so let's talk about some uh, some smart home features that are actually uh, worth it. So let's go down this list here, uh, and let's see how many we have in our home. Okay. So smart locks and keyless entry systems. Do you have any smart locks? I don't have smart locks on my I house. I do not have smart locks. Um, no, I, I've talked about this on the show before, and uh, in the last couple shows, I'd mentioned I'm not a fan of them, and mm-hmm. I... Okay. <laughs> you know when you're you know when you're young and your your grandpa starts talking about something like, you know, in the old days and yes, this is you know, you're yes. like, "Oh, really grandpa?" Are you grandpa today? <laughs> I feel like I'm grandpa. So, here's here's my thoughts okay. on 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 keyless entries yes. and, and locks that are electronic and I so there's no doubt that um hackers like computer programmers, they're the ones that are controlling things moving forward, okay? So, yep. we're the AI is taking over in a lot of industries, like it's it's You're really heading to the that dark way. Side of it, the the AI, industry, are you? <laughs> well, the industry is going that way, right? Yes, it is. The way I find, like, literally, it's going to be very, very. This is Kate. Okay, I'm prefaced <laughs> by saying this is my personal opinion. If you okay, can see Dan's face right now, <laughs> I know. I hate. I don't want to like make it seem like I'm right. going nuts, but um, <laughs> too late I feel like putting an electronic uh, entry on your doorway at home yes. is a very easy access point for. Somebody that has I do too very basic experience in I do too. hacking things. Anything that's like I don't know. I'm sounding like that grandpa too, <laughs> shaking my fist at the sun. <laughs> Not you're too bright today, but uh, it's the AI part that kind of scares me. And well, I, there's no stopping it. It's coming. That's that's what I mean. Like, yeah. you, and that's the other thing of it. There's no stopping it. No. And once it gives a given a directive, it's supposed to complete that directive, right? But I mean, just with all the electronic stuff now and all the ha- hackers, like you're like if they can get into your bank account. Some of them, I'm pretty sure they can oh, get into sure. your front door. I don't know. I, I don't know. That, that, uh, <laughs> we can make a whole segment out of this. But, we could. You know. Let's that's not. Just <laughs> I know. Uh, okay. Wi-Fi enabled smart thermostats. Now, mm-hmm. a lot of houses have these. We yes. have one. I'm not crazy about it, but we have it. Yep. Like I find it doesn't like it takes over, and I wish it was colder, but it's not. And it's can you not do it manually? You can, you yeah, can do it. You can change like, everything, but it just kind of it. it picks it up and ignores what you said and right. changes it anyways. We have a dryer like that now. You put oh. something into dry, and it decides when it's dry and it's not dry. Oh. So I'm like, how do I get past this? So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you stay in front of that laundry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, voice activated smart assistants. Uh, well. If you have a smartphone, your you know, a smart TV. If you have a Google Home yeah. or go, yeah, whatever they call them, everybody they, probably has they, something in there. Alexas or whatever. Yep. It's you know you're being listened to. No, um, and you can activate. Yeah. Yep, hundred um, percent. Smart home security systems. So again, same kind of idea, right? Mm-hmm. There's some value there for sure. Uh, automated smart lighting systems. Yep. This is now it's getting easier and more affordable. Uh, we have Philips Hue lights on the exterior of our house, okay. which allow us to change to any color we want. Oh, right, yes. On the yep. on the outside. So mm-hmm. for the holidays, we just change at the flick of a button. You yep. change to Christmas colors or which is convenient. Easter or whatever colors Climbing you want. Climbing on the roof Halloween. anymore to hang your lights. Exactly. And funny story about that, and I'll be quick about it. Yeah. Is that we're talking about these automated things. <laughs> You know, God bless my mom. She's passed now and everything like that. But when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have the clapper or anything like that at the time. So I used to lay in bed and my mom would be at the other side of the house and I'd be, I'd be in bed. I'd be called mom, mom, nonstop. And finally she'd be <sighs> coming some marching down the hallway. What? And I go, can you turn off my bedroom light, please? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was the funniest, but now I, my kids Clap have done on. it to me. Yeah. Wish we had those, but 
Yeah, now I know her frustration because my kids have done it to me. So sorry, oh my mom. Gosh. <laughs> sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> uh, smart. Uh, let's just see here. I'm just high efficiency smart appliances. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, for sure. There's some various options there. Uh, there's, there's such a big list here. Smart pet feeders and monitors. So keep tabs on your pets and ensure they're fed on schedule even when you're away. Um, intelligent cooktops and ranges. Mm -hmm. Same same kind of uh, idea. Uh, smart leak detectors. So this is Ooh. a really there's there's some great options here. Yeah, that uh, you can sound. install on your water meter and it'll sense if there's a leak in the house and really? notify you by text. That is interesting. That's well worth it. Yes, pretty well cool. Well worth it. And you catch problems right, no, right yeah. at the beginning. It's not dripping away for a couple of days. We have a monitor on our sump pump. So okay. if the water reaches a certain level, mm -hmm. the alarm company calls us and uh -huh. you know the the alarm so is going off on the sump pump and the alarm system. system. Yep, yep. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see, smart window shades and blinds. So this is one mistake we made when we built our house. We, um, at the time we had the renovation center, right? So we, right. which we sold, um, uh, blinds, window coverings. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've since sold that center a couple of years ago, but, uh, we were all about these, the smart blinds and electronic blinds, yep. right? We have a living room with some higher windows, so right. it's yes, hard to reach. So we ended up um, wiring uh, for the hardwire system. So you can okay. actually run batteries or whatever to the, to the blinds. Yep. But in the dining room next next to it, they're, they're like, you know, one level. So you can mm -hmm. easily reach them. And we didn't hardwire there. We just we have the battery ones. Oh, I see. And I wish we'd hardwired. Just because, do them. Because, yeah, for the extra few bucks at the time, just right? Again, and... it's one of those things where you're trying to save a few bucks here and there. Right. And uh, you wish you hadn't just... Just did it. Just done it properly in the first place. Right. And that's that's a good segue right there for something that is, I always say to people when you're looking at houses, yes, that you're not going to find exactly what you want. There's always going to be things that you have to give for. Even when you build your own house, right. you're going to find at the end something that's you've right. missed or forgot or wish that's you right. did. So, I mean, it's never a perfect scenario. So sometimes you just have to do that little bit of give and take. Especially people like us, right? Where yep. we built, uh, that's what we do for a living, right? right. We, we sell yep. houses, we build houses, and uh, you still miss things. It's just it's hard. You just try and get as much as you can, and you... Yep. You know, that's a win. Uh, okay, we're out of, out of time for that segment. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple more texts came in, folks. Oh. Uh, we were texting, having having listeners text. Competition is on. You have to see how long they've been <laughs> in their house. I've got one now saying 79 years in Holy. June. In June, 79 years. 79 years in June. Jeez, they must have bought that when they were... Oh, my goodness. My wife and I, someone else, my wife and I built our house in 1968, and we've been in it ever since. Uh, and they'll have to carry me out as well. Someone says. So there you go. <laughs> I do like 68. that. Sixty-eight. Same thing. My dad says you'll be carrying me out of here. I was like, yeah. I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I won't be doing it. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the record so far is seventy-nine years. Fantastic. Yep. Okay, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back uh, and talk to Patrice from Goldmar Property Management about the landlord tenant board uh, and their massive delays. We'll see what uh, what the latest information is. Uh, there's a um, a, uh, a survey out, yes. or um, not a survey, but a um, a petition. Oh, yeah, a petition. A petition out right now. Uh, we'll we'll ask her about that. Uh, and later on in the show, we have uh, our listener question. Text in uh, if you have any questions about real estate. And Aaron and I are, and I are happy to uh, tackle them for you yes. live here on the air. Text best we can ten eight hundred <laughs> best we can real estate related questions. Yeah, only uh, or popcorn. <laughs> Uh, and speaking of popcorn, we'll also give away the Richmond Popcorn Company gift card. Uh, and uh, you can text to win. The keyword today is salty, S-A-L-T-Y. Salty with your first and last name to 10-800. And you are entered to win the contest for the Richmond Popcorn Company gift card. RichmondPopcorn.com. Lots more to come right here on the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show.